Hi everyone. So we're back for another Tiny Seeds and today I want to talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart and it really has a lot to do with how I managed to get onto my journey of healing and growing and finding peace. It's, it's so closely connected to it, so bear with me, so let me tell you my story. So this is, um, we're going back 14 years, um, yeah, approximately my relationships fallen apart. And first time in my life, I am, I am becoming teachable. I am, I am falling apart so spectacularly that I've got none of my normal defenses left. Those I'm looking okay defenses. No, I'm not talking to people. I'm not telling people how, how, and what a bad way I am. So, you know, I, my thyroid were not, my thyroid were not working. I think my adrenals already at that stage have given out. And I was utterly in shock and having um, long-term relational post-traumatic stress disorder without knowing it. And so uh, through a miracle, uh, somebody gave me the right uh, paper to read and I could start doing research and then I with another amazing person could start uh, a group. So the two of us started a group and we worked together. Now she had more experience than me and I learned something amazing from her which was be teachable. It was basically change every single thing that you are used to doing like let go of everything let's start all over and look it makes sense because whatever it is that i believed so firmly in and i believed in everything so firmly i believed that my thought processes were right and you know it's fairly obvious like why would we have a thought process and an outlook and behaviors if we don't think they are right but i just never ever realized that these were my leftover survival tactics for getting childhood and so I became teachable I became vulnerable I became open and it was a learning process it wasn't easy and the group I will give it to you was small it was first two people then three then after quite some time it was four and then five and then six you know we stayed about seven eight but it was it was very manageable and um, then eventually I started getting better this was a two three year process this was a two three year process where I managed to get through a lot of my trauma and um, had a safe place to talk learned a lot of new outlooks really learned through the adult child program through the group process learned how to be different in the world and it's this is really important because part of my process before was to be okay in the world look okay no matter whether i am or not and be um, very self-preserving very careful who i let into my life and most definitely never ever groups Two, more than two people at a time, oh no, absolutely not. I would just become quiet and pull back and let the other people do their thing. So for me now to be able to be part of groups, to be the group leader, to have facilitated so many groups through these last 12 years, it is an enormous step. I And people say to me, Louise, you can't be an introvert because you're so easy uh, in a group and in pe with people and you say anything and you reach out to people and you make friends easily and that was it's the opposite of who I was. And so it, it's a few things which I want to point out. So first of all, when we have this very definite thing that we've been saying forever, I don't do groups or um, I don't like people or um, I don't trust people easily, it comes from such a long time. You will check on yourself and reflect and you will see you've been saying this forever for as long as you can remember this is just a childhood survival mechanism you can learn different different things but you've got to become teachable and as long as you hold on to those very adamant it is like it is and this is just how i am 
as long as you do that, you cannot be teachable. So you've got to let go. You've got to become utterly, utterly teachable. You've got to be willing to try new things. You've got to be willing to examine new ways. And yes, I help people in in one-on-one -on -one situations. I do that, obviously, this is part of my job, but the group brings something different. And then what happens is that we, um, because we need to learn how to be different in the, in, the, in the world, we have to learn how to be with people. We have to be learn how to be with people of all kinds, of all um, stages of health, of, of really people that we would normally be very careful about or just, you know, be so self-contained that we don't even try or so intimidated that this is this person I would never even try and be a friend with. Now, all of those things go away, but our testing ground, our playground is the group environment. This is the one which is safe because there's no judgment allowed. If you are, you're having a problem with judgment, you need to talk to the group facilitator. Just not allowed because we can all only be safe if there is no judgment. And it's part of our healing and the more we heal, the less judgment we have, the more we understand everybody else have got the same problems. I feel at home here. I don't, I'm not the only one. I, I can relax here. These people are becoming my family. The one that I wish I had, the one I never had. It is the most amazing thing that happens. And I, I know that because, you know, group members from 14 years ago, you don't have to even see them all the time because you don't stay active in the group for 14 years. That would be me <laughs> because I facilitate the groups. But it's the group's always there and you know that. And you know the people that you became close to. They're always there. And you can bump, jump into it. And you can use your skills anytime to, to help other people. But it starts there in that group place. So no judgment of other people and um, everything very, very really tight rule about this is absolutely everything that gets said in the group stays in the group. You don't talk about it. You don't go and spill somebody else's secrets. You don't go be gossip. And that gets you out of the group immediately. So everybody has to be safe. And the third one is very obvious until you think about it. But, you know, it's we should know this. Nobody can do it for somebody else. You have to show up. You have to do the work. You have to try something new. Can't do it for you. So what happens in counseling normally is that um, any form of self-esteem coaching, whatever it is that I do for you, you come in and you normally come in because you have some sort of emergency. And I have to help you out of emergency before we can stabilize you. And so we spend a lot of time with your immediate problems. So the first three, four, five, six sessions is about getting you stabilized, getting you to function better in your in your life, to start believing in your to learn new um, communication skills. All of those very valid, very directed at you personally, personalized help for you, personalized ways to to communicate uh, so that your problems can become easier to handle, uh, personalized ways to look at your own outlooks and your own contribution to whatever is going on. All amazing stuff, but there's more. It's so much more. And that's so much more I do courses for. So I've got a lot of courses where you can, and they're all self-drives. You can go do it on your own. And I will then just hope please, please, please finish it because a lot of people who buy courses don't finish them. They are very affordable. So because they're not expensive, people may be tempted to think, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. I didn't spend that much on it, you know, $49, whatever. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, but um, when you show up in a group, whether you yourself is telling a story or you yourself is asking the question or you yourself is bringing the problem at that moment, or whether we read something and we discuss it, or whether we listen to somebody else's problem, you are guaranteed to learn something, to pick up something, to realize something. And sometimes you sit in the group for a few weeks and then suddenly you go like, oh, this is what they've been saying all along. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm ready. 
and you learn to accept people that you've never would have and you learn to live with people. and sometimes it's difficult people you know sometimes we have very reactive people reactive people need help reactive people upset other people we need to learn to regulate ourselves in the group environment not get upset by by reactive people sometimes we are very dependent people sometimes we are people who ask a lot of questions and who want to have a lot of time for themselves all of these things we need to learn to handle and overall the experience is so magical and in the group we learn one of our biggest biggest assets and one of the most neglected assets and here's muffin okay muffin have come sit say hi okay sit muffin we learn to be vulnerable because vulnerable we see it as a, a, a thing we just don't want to we're scared of being judged we fear that people will think less of us will like us less or or see right into our deepest darkest corners and reject us no wait muffin behave and in the group because of acceptance and the support and knowing you're not the only one so at last you're you're one of a tribe you learn that you can be vulnerable and once you learn that in the group the next step is to do it with other people in the wide world out there and figure out you're not going to die from this it actually brings you closer to people it gives you depth in your relationships it is the most amazing thing it's hard for us to accept and to learn and to it's a skill it's a skill to be really vulnerable because a lot of us don't even know how to be really vulnerable we we say i'm you know i'm speaking my truth and then we just really trying to judge or blame somebody else <laughs> instead of really um, figuring out, out what it means to be truly vulnerable and pull people into our circle by letting them see who we really are and that's another one, you know, letting people see who we really are. We've got to practice in a safe place. And then one more thing which is so important about groups, and that is that our traumas, small traumas, we call it big, small T traumas, big T traumas, little normal traumas um, that everybody goes through. And then sometimes some of us have got huge traumas that we had to go through as children and also our adult um, traumas because those also those are often the thing that is going to let us um, finally go for help and make us ready to join a group or go for therapy so all of these traumas when we tell our stories in safe places we work through them we let it go we learn how to self-regulate we learn how to look at it differently how to we take the, the bite out of it. We have a safe place. We have people who care for us. We have people who surround us with support. And when we do that, we work through we work through shame. We work through the heartache. We get better. We learn how to take care of ourselves. We learn to love ourselves better. All because of this group. So I am the biggest fan ever. Of groups and I've been working for a since this whole COVID disaster started it's been I've been trying to work to find a model to get people online all over the world a lot of the original people who's been in the groups all along my friend behave are all over the world miss everyone and a lot of new clients are all over the world all my clients are allowed into the groups. I do not allow people into the groups who are not either in my group programs or in my programs, uh, but because I get to know people personally in the programs or our clients. I, it, I have to know people. That is what makes it safe. And that is what helped me keep it safe for everyone. I, I'm not allowing strangers in. So for everyone who has never experience never had a group experience who uh, has always been too scared i want you to look at your inner language and i want you to understand that it's just a self-protective mechanism it's contracting you it's not allowing you to expand
And we are all about expanding in order for us to be fully actualized human beings, to be our most best self. So we really have to learn to expand ourselves. Nothing better than the group process. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. It still is. So I've got a, a, a place now online. It's called Heartbeat. We meet once a month. It is an amazing situation. And even if you are not in the groups, all my live programs, every single thing that I do live is in a group. So you become part of a group, they're usually small groups, <clears throat> anything between um, six and maybe 13, 14, if, if I do a big group, but usually really not bigger than that. That's my normal group. Everybody gets uh, attention. I am there and it's safe and you don't have to participate more than you feel comfortable with. And a lot, a lot of people do one group session and then they do another course, you know, do the self-worth, then do the limiting beliefs. When they become brave, when they get to the limiting beliefs, they will post one or twice, do another one. But it is in those challenges and in the posting and in the sharing and in doing the homework and in reading everybody else's posts and supporting them and cheering them on and clapping hands. It's in all of that that's part of our growing. And that gives us the free ticket into my monthly meetings. And I have many people who are, who, who, who've, who've been hesitant about it, who's been scared about it, have said to me, this is the best thing ever, the best thing. I know it is, I know it is amazing. I really do want you to consider it and to get yourself an easy way into it, you know. So the easiest way is get one of my self-help um, courses. Um, or if you're one of my clients already, just say, hi Louise, I want to join. I'll let you in immediately. We'll give you the link, you can join. We'll put you on the mailing list um, into the special group for it. And you'll get your reminder and you'll get your link and we will chat once a month. It's an hour, two hours, depending on how many people have got questions. And um, look out for the next um, online course that will also ease you in. There's a masterclass nearly every month. There's a one and a half hour masterclass on a on a very specific topic. And um, if it interests you, jump in and enjoy. And um, I guarantee you, you keep on showing up. You just keep on showing up. Something in you is going to change and it's going to help you become really still the same person, but just more of you, the person you were always supposed to be. So, yeah, I'm sure you can figure out. This is really, really, really important to me. I've worked very hard to get to this point. It's taken me three years of working behind the scenes and doing all of this work behind the scenes to get to some a place where I can recreate that group experience all over the world. And um, I can't wait to join you in there. That is, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this. So I'm sending you much love. Thank you for watching. If you watched all the way here, all you have to do is say to me, Louise, how do I get in? That's all. Send me an email. I answer all my emails. Um, this is all real. This is all a human reading it. So looking forward to meeting you soon, getting to know you better and helping you get to that peace and joy that I have every day, no matter what kind of shit happens in life, I'm able to always get back to it. So much love to you and appreciate the time that you spent um, watching, watching this. So until the next time, much love. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.